On the 6th of July 2024, the 13th edition of East vs West will take place at the Green Park Hotel in Pendik, Istanbul in Turkey. With some of the top arm wrestlers in the world gathering and 15 super matches on the card, it's promising to become an unforgettable event. Whether you're eagerly awaiting the livestream pay-per-view or are still on the fence as far as watching on the day, in this video I'll lay out everything you need to know about the event before watching. Although technically unconfirmed, the press conference for the event will most likely happen on the day before, Friday the 5th on the East vs West YouTube channel. There's also a possibility, as was the case with some previous events, that one or more other YouTube channels will also be broadcasting the conference. As usual, Engin Terzi as well as several other content creators have also been hosting interviews and podcasts in the lead up to the event. If I had to recommend one of them to watch, it would be this one, posted on the Engin Terzi YouTube channel on the 28th of June. It was one of the most entertaining arm wrestling podcasts in recent memory, in my opinion. As athletes will be arriving, also expect some in-person interviews and videos in and around the venue. The main event will start on Saturday at 8 pm local time and in my expectation will last anywhere between 5 to 7 hours, although this is a very rough estimate. If you want to watch the pay per view from the comfort of your own home, it will set you back about 18.99 euros. If you want to, however, watch the event live, you'll have to pay around 50 euros for that experience. Do note that these prices are in all likelihood dependent on the region you live in and might differ somewhat from the ones mentioned in this video. 15 super matches in one event sounds like a high number, and it is. However, for East vs West, this is an average amount. If you divide the total number of matches by the total amount of events, excluding the original two, you get exactly that. 15. Out of these 15 matches, 6 of them will be title matches, meaning these athletes will be fighting for the belt of their respective weight classes. 12 of all the featured matches will happen on the right arm, which means only 3 left arm matches will take place. One of those left handed matches is in the welterweight division and features the Latvian rising star Tom's Rositz, recently coming out of a good WAF performance, and on the other side of the table Artem Taranenko, aka the Top Roll King and a mainstay of the online and offline arm wrestling community. The second left handed match of the day will be a lightweight title match between the Moldovan veteran and reigning champ Daniel Prokopchik and the Bulgarian Bojidar Simeonov, who will be looking to re solidify his position as a true elite of the category. Finally, as a middleweight title match, the Russian Artem Tainov will be battling the young up and coming Georgian Onyani after both winning their last two super matches at East vs West. One interesting and more unique fact about this edition of East vs West is the presence of no less than three women's matches. Two of these will be in the lightweight category, one between the Swedish Karolina Peterson and Russian Olga Terpolova, while the other will be between the Bulgarian Dimitrina Petrova and the Japanese Ayane Takenaka. Although Takenaka has been a mainstay on the arm wrestling tournament circuit, this will be the first time a competitor from Japan will be participating at East vs West. Let's hope this opens the door for more to follow in the future. The final women's match is a title between the current reigning champion Barbora Baciova and the Lithuanian Egle Vaitkute, who is coming off a win against Sara Bachman. Going back to the men's division, however, this time in the welterweight class, North American Adam Warzynski is facing off against the Russian Vladimir Mayorov, after the latter lost a title match to David Samusha in a previous edition. Talking about the welterweight title, this time David Samusha will be trying to hold on to his belt in a match with the Bulgarian powerhouse Sasho Andreev. Moving up in weight, this time in the light heavyweight class, Ukrainian Petro Marharint, coming off a win at East vs West 12, will try to overcome the supremely strong Georgian Zurab Tavaridze. Will Zurab's right arm have healed enough after a devastating injury? We'll find out soon in this match. Two other matches in the light heavyweight class will feature four athletes that have become household names on the arm wrestling supermatch circuit. The American side pressure king Todd Hutchings will have his hands full with Bulgarian legend of the sport and notorious giant slayer Krasimir Kostadinov. While directly after that the Ukrainian opera singer Yevgeny Prudnik will have to try and overcome Levan's training partner in Irakli Zirakashvili. The belt in this weight class will also be awarded in the light heavyweight title match between David Dadiakan and Oleg Petrenko. 
a match that is sure to produce fireworks on the day. As the sole heavyweight right arm match of the evening, the American Chan Shaw has come down in weight to face the Russian Ibrahim Sagov. Chance is currently 1 in 3 on the East vs West scene, so it will be interesting to see if he can balance out his record with this match. One of our two super heavyweight matches of the event will feature the return on the right arm of a true legend. Notorious American puller Travis Bajant will be testing his mettle against Ukrainian Sergei Kalinichenko. The outcome for this match is a total mystery to me, but will undoubtedly be one to watch closely and a serious crowd favorite in the event. However, to round out this totally stacked East vs West 13, the young but powerful Archer Morozov will be battling the giant Russian ex ice road trucker Vitaly Laletin in the main event. Truly a long-awaited match. Based on these matches alone, I feel like East vs West will be worth the price of admission, coming in at only slightly over $8 per match. If this at all sounds appealing to you, I do urge you to buy the pay-per-view or show your support in any other way possible. Clearly showing the organization that the arm wrestling community is willing to stand behind these kinds of promotions will go a long way to assuring future events not only persist, but also thrive. Like East vs West 14, which is for the first time in the promotion's history, set to take place in the USA. Links to the pay-per-view and the East vs West YouTube channel are in the description, so show some love and tell them the Army Historian sent you. As always, I'll be releasing a long-form documentary-style video soon, but until then, Arm Historian, out.